Hello there everyone, and welcome to episode 14 of the Zookeeper series. We are going to be starting off this episode with the little guy on my shoulder here, and I am going to name him. I am just going to leave him on the floor for a hot second while I grab a name tag for him. Da 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 da! Spot. That is the cutest name ever, I love it. And there you are, Spot. Oh, that's so cute, I love it. Okay, we have Spot now. And Spot is going to live right over here on this table. Um, I have set him to stay with the book. It's like, yeah, if you just click him with the book, you can click stay and he'll stay there um, and not move around, move off the table. I might build him a little like area in my house where he can chill, but for right now, he is a table turtle. The next thing we are going to do is do a bit of a little montage kind of thing of me finishing up these five boxes. This one just has stuff from the previous exhibit that I've done, so I'm going to finish up these boxes in a bit of a montage style, so uh, let's roll that. As you guys probably saw from that time last, we are going to be doing two frogs today. We are going to be doing the... Oh, I didn't look up how to say this. Give me a second. Okay, so it's Xenopus, so the Xenopus frog, and the tree frogs. These guys both like to live together, and they pretty much like kind of the same things. The tree frogs are going to be using spider eyes as their food source, which I'm very happy about because... I have a ton of spider eyes because I really don't use them for anything because the spider farm mainly just gets me string for nets. So I just have a ton, I have like two shulker boxes full, plus all the ones that are in here. So I have quite a few. And the Xenimpus frogs are going to be using acacia leaves or just leaves in general to eat. So now I am going to pick up both of these boxes and take them over and start building their exhibits. Really quickly before I do that, you can see I was using this animal feed trader because he was selling frog kibble and I have maxed out his trade and I want to know if there's any way that I can get their trades back or if it's just gone forever because if I can I would like to reuse, he's gone, uh, I would like to reuse this trade so that I can get more because this I found out is a much easier way than actually making the kibble because I can just buy it from them for 
just pretty much like no gold. I made a ton of coins that I didn't end up using because it sold out so fast. So if there's a way that I can restock those trades, let me know because that would be very helpful in the future. Alright, so the place for these guys is going to be along this wall, so I think right here is going to be the Xenemphis frogs. And then over here is going to be quite a large area for the tree frogs because I have quite a few, so we're going to pop down these shulker boxes. And I think I'll start with the tree frog exhibit and then do this one after. So, so I'm going to get this guy, these guys exhibit built up. Um, I like it. I think it's cute. I think that the tree frogs really like this area. It's got a ton of... I guess I didn't add these logs in. I could put a couple of these everywhere. Uh, let's put one over there. And maybe a few more. I meant to put it over there. There we go. There we are. That's, that's nice. I like it. I think that it's good. So... Now, just to put the tree frogs into there, they've got their little areas that they can climb around in, and they are also, because they can climb, and these are over a block tall, they can get over them, so it shouldn't be an issue. They should be able to just get around here just fine. So let's just put these guys in. You can sit in these? Oh. Wait, hold up. Oh, he just suffocated. Whoops. Okay, you can sit on the, the, the thingies. That is cool. Okay, I gotta box this up before they get out. Ah, uh, he's getting out already. No! Stay in. Aha, did it. Okay. Wait, I s No, he's still in there. That's that's one of the weirdest things. The weirdest glitches is that it'll show that you killed one, even though you didn't. Like because these things take damage when they go in here. But like I didn't actually kill one there because we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and I know we just broke one, so seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and the one that I s that was uh, suffocated in the wall, but like, they're all fine. So, yeah. Bee's climbing! Bee's going! Yay! These guys are awesome! I love these guys. I think they're gonna have a good time in there. I don't think they'll drown. I hope they don't drown. That's really the only thing that I'm worried about. Um, but obviously I will keep a, an eye open for that if that does happen. But these guys are very cute. I really like their exhibit, how it turned out. Uh, they got their, their quote-unquote trees in there um, to climb up. They've got their tire swing. Their, I'm using these bird perches because I, I like the, the wood kind of feel of them because we don't really have any other wood things. I mean, I could put fences in there. I guess that would... Hmm... Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. That that sounds like a good idea. So let's let's make some fences really quick. Okay, we gotta break in and immediately close it behind us. There we are. And then let's get these out of here and place those. Those I like that better. Yeah, that's a lot better actually. It's not as big and clunky as the. Uh, the like full logs but it's it's still like you can still see that it's a tree kind of thing so yeah they've got those little climbing poles now and yeah there is the tree frog exhibit all done so now we're just going to build up the xenopus frogs and we can and that'll be done right over here so let's get into that now got the Xenopus frog exhibit all done. Time to put these guys in here. There's one and two. They can both breathe underwater. They are water creatures. Come here. They are very fast. So yes, there we are. Let me let me get out of here. There we go. The water is not flowing through because I had it on the corner, but there we go. Uh, he better not take damage. He better still be in the water. I'm going to kind of stand here for a moment and check on him. He's taking damage. No! Alright. That means we are going to only have one Xenopus frog, unless I find another one, which I'm going to try to do. And we're going to need to replace all of this with full blocks, because that cannot happen again. We cannot have them dying. Or, what does the death message say? Yeah, it drowned. It drowned in the air because obviously that's what it's called. Okay, well I fixed it now just to safely and carefully put that guy in there. Okay, he should not be able to get out of the water. The only way he can is if he somehow figures out how to get into that, which is how I died earlier, don't, don't, don't worry about it. And if he goes into the food barrel, which I don't even think he's able to do. So, he should be fine. I'm hoping he'll be fine, because <laughs> I've already uh, 
th th there's already been two uh, casualties because I was looking at them before and I was looking at what they eat and I uh, before I knew that they uh, they were only in the water because I'd found them in the water but I had also found tree frogs in the water so I was like maybe maybe they just like the water but no that they actually need to be in the water to live so yeah now I know though so that's good and if I find more of these guys which I probably will end up finding them considering how much I go out and accidentally quote unquote <laughs> uh, catch more animals more animals than I need uh, I'll end up finding them so I don't really have to worry about that but kind of sad that we lost that guy a little bit bummed about that but we do have one in there still so that is all good we're gonna pack these up and head back home with them sort them all out and we now have the tree frogs and the Xenempus frog exhibits all done and with these two exhibits done here that kind of finishes off the space I have for the upper row here so all of the new exhibits that I'm going to make, so pretty much the Hawksville Sea Turtle, the Eastern Stingrays, and the Dwarf Crocodile, which are the ones that I still have, are going to go down along this bottom area down here. So I have probably space for a fairly large exhibit over here, and then I have space for two over here. So I definitely want the one down at the end over there to be the Eastern Stingrays. And the plan that I have for them is to make it kind of like a petting area where you can uh, touch the stingrays because I've been to an aquarium where it has that and it is so cool to touch the stingrays. It is very fun. I love that. So I'm definitely going to be putting one of those kind of touch areas for the stingrays in when I do their exhibit. That is going to do it for today's episode. I would like to know you guys' opinion on the time lapses throughout this episode. Well, not only like the time lapses, but the little like montages that I did. Uh, do you think those are good? Do you think those are bad? What's your verdict on them? Oh, I personally thought they were kind of fun to put together, but uh, if you guys think that I should go back to just doing jump cuts, or if I should do something else, let me know. If I should just time lapse the entirety of that little segment that I do where I build the exhibits and just kind of fill up the boxes, let me know. Spot would like to thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more from this series, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!